Hello everybody. Thank you for your support of the channel and uh, the replies I got to the last video. I'm glad it's uh, being helpful and relevant to some people. I know it's a very complicated time right now, so I want to try to be as mindful as possible with um, starting anything new during this time. So I truly appreciate um, the support and uh, I really do hope that this is providing real help, sensitive help in a complicated time. Uh, with that being said, I wanted to take this second video to talk a little bit about one of the key phrases in the whole ninjutsu philosophical world that I'm hoping to share with y'all. And that is what you see written behind me, Shiken Harimitsu Daikomyo. This is something I said at the end of the last video, and it is a poem that we say when we bow in at the beginning of every class, um, both in America and in Japan. Um, written behind me, you can see the calligraphy done by the Grand Master of Ninjutsu himself, Masaki Hatsumi. Um, I have a few works of art by him in my dojo. Uh, but I wanted to talk about Shiken Harimitsu Daikomyo today because it's the essence of what this channel is hoping to convey. Um, it can be argued what the direct translation of the phrase means, just like anything in ninjutsu. Uh, it's written in a layered fashion so that it can have multifaceted meanings depending on where you are in your training. However, Hatsumi Sensei says from the very beginning that a simple way to understand Shiken Harimitsu Daikomyo is that any experience, good or bad, might be the one that leads you to enlightenment. Uh, I think that's a wonderful thing to put into today's philosophical realm because in the West especially, so much of enlightenment or spiritual practice is usually all good vibes, right? It's people saying, oh, you gotta be happy all the time, you gotta feel good all the time, do these yoga stretches that make you feel relaxed and breathing. Uh, but all you have to do is look back at the origin story of the Buddha to realize that strife is equally important in gaining enlightenment, gaining spiritual fulfillment, because the moment he leaves the palace, he sees sickness and death and poverty. And that is what sets him down the path, not the opulence of his palace, not his yoga teachers and his beautiful women. It's when he sees outside of his palace that the world was on fire and there was a lot of suffering that, he was, that was being hidden from him. And I think that's a lot of what's going on right now in the world. We are seeing a lot of suffering that was hidden behind the palace walls. Not for everyone. A lot of people have been living with this their entire lives. But for the great majority of who's speaking in the media right now and messages going out, some people are being shown this for the very first time. So Shiken Harimitsu Daikomyo is um, a helpful thing to keep in your heart because it'll help you see that even these bad things going on in the world, even these struggles, they're not necessarily bad. Um, they're not necessarily good either, but they can bring enlightening change um, in any sense of the word. Uh, a personal example I have is that I've been um, in surgery many, many times in my life. I've had a foot and a half of my colon removed. I've had can that thought I had cancer for two months. Uh, longer than that. I've had hip replacements. I've had all kinds of surgeries. And when I went to China to live in the monastery and meditate for, you know, seven, eight hours a day, I was confronted with the fact that I did not need to go to China to realize these states of um, transcendence because I realized them with tubes down my throat I, when I couldn't move for three days straight or sleep um, while I was having my colon pumped. Uh, I realized them when I was relearning to walk for the fifth time, that these states that we go through in strife often create a kind of survival mechanism in our spiritual self, in our brains, whatever you want to call it, biology or um, spiritual. These strife states can often be better at helping us see through illusion and suffering more than the good times. Uh, so in this world where everybody's tired and exhausted and really feeling beat down a lot of the days today, um, remember that that feeling might be the beginning of some great enlightenment maybe five years from now. Uh, so uh, I end every video in this channel with Shikan Harimitsu Daikomyo, so I wanted to take the time to explain that phrase and its relationship to Buddhism and generally this channel as I hope to share ways that um, things that suck actually can be very, very liberating. So I hope that makes some sense. Share some comments. If you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll be back next week to talk about more uh, ninja secrets of getting through times of strife. Shiken Harimitsu Daikomyo.